Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? So, uh, somebody just put me up on, um, you know, this little news that came out with uh, your Dennis Ugas supposedly considering fighting Keith Thurman over Earl Spence Jr. I guess the the logic behind this is he feels that oh, <laughs> he feels as though if he fights Keith Thurman, beats Keith Thurman, then a pay-per-view fight with Earl Spence Jr. would be that much bigger. And supposedly Keith Thurman is like putting this bug in his ear. I don't know how true this shit is. Now, I don't it doesn't sound far-fetched at all because boxing has a whole lot of dumb shit that goes on behind the scenes. It's always some drama, some moving parts. It's always some bullshit. This shit can't never be just straight up. You dig what I'm saying? It's never just straight up. It's always some little diva shit, some little bullshit going on, bro. You know, but as boxing fans, hey, we hurt. You know what I'm saying? We hurt. But, so I mean, evidently Keith Thurman has is trying to finesse your Dennis Ugas into a fight. Trying to get back into the limelight, trying to gain some leverage. You know, and um, apparently your Dennis Ugas is seriously considering this shit. Why? I have no fucking clue. I have no idea why Ugas would even think about this shit. Keith Thurman is coming off of a loss. He has no belts and he got nothing to offer to you but a name. Earl Spence Jr. has two belts. It's a unification match, some shit that you could have never even dreamed of doing in your career, but it's actually an opportunity. It's here for you. It's way more money than you can get fight Keith Thur keep fighting Keith Thurman. And it's a bigger name. It's Earl of Truth fucking Spence Jr., bro. Number two pound for pound fighter in the sport. A lot of people have number one. You know what I'm saying? The biggest draw in the sport of boxing right now. You know? He proved that in the pandemic. So why would you want to fight Keith Thurman over Earl Spence? Why are you worried about if this could be a bigger pay-per-view? Look, August, you 34 years old, bro. You can't even be thinking about future money. You need to be worried about what you can get right now because you at the end of the rope, G. And this the biggest opportunity that you're going to get in your career. Don't squander that shit for Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman must. I know he good with the words and I know he can talk his ass off. I know he can talk now, but I ain't know he was this damn good. Goddamn. Well, he got a translator or something. You know, Ugas can't speak no damn English. Well, Keith Thurman up pulled up on, on Ugas with a translator and shit. Talking that good shit to him. If, if Keith Thurman is able to pull this off, bro, this... This would be one of the biggest heists in a long time in boxing. This would be one of the biggest finesse moves in boxing in a long time if Keith Thurman is able to talk Ugas about that belt. Because I'm going to tell you, if, if Keith Thurman fight Ugas, he going to beat him. And he going to get that belt. And Earl Spitz can forget about Undisputed. He can forget about it. He can forget about that shit. Because I don't trust Keith Thurman. I think, I don't trust, Keith Thurman going to hold that motherfucking belt as long as he can. And Earl, it's going to be by time for Earl Spence to move up to 154. If Keith Thurman get his hands on that belt, he can forget, Earl Spence can forget about Undisputed. It ain't going to happen. I'm going to just keep it 100. It's not going to happen. Like, bruh, this shit crazy that we even talking about this. Bro, you got, you, it's Earl Spence, Jordanus Ugas, three belts on the line. Bro, Keith Thurman shouldn't even be a thought. He 
shouldn't even be an option. Man, who is in your Dennis Ugas' ear? And I hope this ain't nothing that PBC trying to put in motion. And if it is, I don't know how Earl Spence could be okay with that. If I'm Earl Spence, I'm in, I'm in our office on fire. I'm in our office throwing shit around, flipping tables in that bitch. If this is really something that PBC trying to put in motion, I hope that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? But if that is the case, if I'm Earl Spence, I'm in Al, I'm in Al Heyman office flipping motherfucking desk and shit right now. If that's the case, this brother ain't got no time to be pussyfooting around and bullshitting at this weight division. We need to go ahead and get this shit popping right now. Motherfuckers ain't got time to be doing all this little days of our lives TV show shit, man. Like, bro, this shit crazy. The fact that Ugas is even considering this. Bro, and if Keith, <laughs> if Keith Thurman can finesse his way back into this, in, into this situation like this, bro, man, say that motherfucker there, he must have been a pimp in his past life. Keith Thurman must have been a pimp in his past life. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy as hell. How y'all feel about this, man? And your Dennis Ugas, bro, bro, cut the bullshit out, dog. Because you're going to get in there with Keith Thurman. You're going to get your ass whooped. And I'm not even saying that, that you know, your Dennis Ugas can fight. He's a good fighter. I like him. I like watching him fight. He's a good fighter. But fam, you get in there with Keith Thurman. You're going to get your ass whooped. And that's going to be the end of your career. No more undis no more unification. No more undisputed. No more big paydays. Like, bro. Like, ser seriously, fam? Like, bro, this shit crazy. I would have even never seen this shit coming. Now, I'm going to say this. I know that this shit sound... It almost sounds too good to be true when you get a situation where you can go ahead and make shit like this happen. It almost be sounding too good to be true sometimes. So I expected some type of wild shit to come out of nowhere, but not this. Not this. They, I hope this is just some some speculation and some, you know. But Ugas put this shit out there. He, he posted this shit. This was on Instagram or Twitter. It was one of them. He posted this shit. I think it was Instagram. In the in the uh, in his caption, he posted the shit. He said this, but I hope this is just some like building up, like fucking drama or whatever. And then like I just hope this ain't don't nothing come of this, man. Because bro, if we gotta go through a we if we gotta wait on Ugas to fight Keith Thurman and then Earl go fight some other motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like bro, it's just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time, bro. And you already know if Keith Thurman get the belt, he going to want a tune-up and another tune-up and another tune-up. And then, oh, I hurt my shoulder. I need surgery. I'm out for another year. Like, damn, bro. We don't got time for that, bro. Woo! What we do to be boxing fans. What we got to go through. Ain't this shit something? That's crazy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Do y'all think your Dennis Ugas will actually... Choose to fight Keith Thurman over Earl Spence Jr. Does he does he not believe that he can beat Earl Spence? Because I can't think of any logical reason why you wouldn't take the Earl Spence fight other than the fact that you don't think you can win. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think this brother gonna do? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.